Hello Year 1. We're going to be finding out some new things today and we're going to be learning how to find halves of shapes. Before we can start finding half of a shape, we need to really understand what a whole shape looks like. So this is a whole circle. So that means there is one circle. So in that number one means one whole. It means all of something. If we think about it as a pizza, that is one pizza, one whole, so all of the pizza. And then if it's a piece of fruit, like a watermelon, one watermelon is one. It is one whole. And then we can start thinking about parts. So we have part, a whole apple. So that is one, one whole apple. And if we sliced it in half, we would be left with half an apple over here. So we have one whole and then when we halve it we're left with a half and this means half. So it means that we've got one piece out of two pieces left and that fraction means half. If you write the word half, half and then we've got the number that means half. So we've got, oh, let's skip through there. So we've got our whole pizza there. So we've got one pizza. And then we've cut it through the middle. And I've got half a pizza on this side. And I've got half a pizza on this side. So if you remember, one and then the line and then the two means half. got our whole star there so we've got one star and then when we've cut it down the middle I've got half a yellow star and half a white star so half of my star is coloured in. One of the activities that you're going to be doing in your book today is to draw the other half of a shape. Now, when you have to draw the other half of a shape, it can be quite tricky to get it exactly right. So just try your best. So I'm going to use some straight lines and I've got half a shape. So half means that I've got to draw the same again because halves are equal amounts. So I've got to try and make these sides equal so that this side is equal to this side. So that's about half and half, okay? This line could probably go up a little bit, okay? So I've got half of my shape here and half of my shape here. And all of the shape all together would be one whole. Draw the other half of this shape. I'm going to use some straight lines again. Okay, this one's a bit trickier to get it exactly right. So I'm going to go down here and then one down here. So I've got half and half. Keeps flicking forward too many today, guys. Colour in half of the shape. If ever I have to have a job where I need to colour in half of the shape, I find it easier to draw a line to show me where the half goes first of all. So I can draw my line halfway through the shape. If you've got the shape cut out, you can fold the shape in half. That helps you as well. So I can have half here. I could put my line in a different place. Can anybody think of where I could put my line in a different place? So you could have your line going halfway across here. That one's not exactly in the right place. I'm going to move it down a little bit. So half. So there might be some other halves, but we don't want to make it too complicated today. So colour in half of the shape. So I'm going to choose my colour, make my pen a little bit thicker. And I'm going to go around the outside. Let's make it go even thicker to make it quicker for us. And then around here and here. I'm colouring half of my shape. So now that I can say that, half of my shape is coloured in. So we've got 
half a yellow shape. Let's have a look at these ladybirds. How many ladybirds are there in total? So we're going to do some halves with numbers to this time. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six ladybirds all together. Half of the ladybirds fly away. How many are left? So when we're doing halves, we need to have two groups. So I could put a line down the middle of my ladybirds. So I've got half the ladybirds in here and half the ladybirds over here. Or I can count. So I've got six ladybirds and one flies away, one stays. One flies away, one stays. One flies away, one stays. So how many are left? There are one, two, three ladybirds that are left. Let's have a look at the next one. So we've got some acorns here. Let's count how many acorns there are in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight acorns all together. Unfortunately, a squirrel eats half of the acorns. How many are left? So we can put a line down the middle where we think it is, or we can sort them out. So the squirrel, he eats this one, he leaves that one. He eats this one, he leaves that one. He eats this one, he leaves that one. He eats this one, and he leaves that one. So he eats half of them. Let's count how many he eats. One, two, three, four. He eats four of the acorns. So that means there are four acorns left. So today you're going to complete page 37 in your maths book. And I'm also going to send you an extra sheet for you to cut out some shapes and fold them to find the halves of some shapes if you want to do that as well. Maybe when you're eating today, you might cut your sandwich in half. You might cut your cake in half. You might share half of your biscuit with somebody. So it would be really good to see you practicing your halves in some other ways today. Good luck. So our celebrity shout outs for today are Aisha. Hi Aisha. It's lovely when I get to see all your work at the end of the week. You're working so hard. Keep it up. I'm really proud of you. And hi to Sam. Hi Sam. I hope you're enjoying your first day of the week at home. Good luck with all your work and keep trying your very best. Well done. And hi to Emily. Hi, Emily. I love it when we get to see some of your work on Dojo. Keep trying your very best and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.